In this video, you will learn 1. The two stages of polishing and buffing. 2. The types of buffs, mops, or polishing wheels to use at each stage. And 3. The types of compounds to use at each stage. Many jewelers throughout the world have different names for buffs and mops. That's what makes everyone so interesting. In this video, I will refer to them all as buffs. I'm Greg Greenwood. Welcome to my studio. There are two basic stages to polishing and buffing your jewelry projects. The first stage is pre-polishing or polishing. This is done after you have filed and emeried your pieces. This is an aggressive to moderately aggressive cutting action stage which removes the surface of the metal using different types of abrasives and compounds. The second stage is the final polish or buffing stage. This is a coloring action stage that brings out the high luster in your projects. Let's first take a look at the buffs. Buffs are attached to the motors and are the vehicle that hold and rub the abrasive compounds against the metal. At the pre-polish or polish stage, the most common buff is the muslin tight weaved stitched buff. They are made of many layers of muslin cloth and are stitched together in circles going from the outside to the middle of the buff. The middle of the buffs are usually shellacked or they can be leather also. When you start working on the buffs, they'll start wearing this nice soft outer layer down and once they get close to the stitching, they'll become very hard. You can then cut out the stitching with a knife or X-Acto knife, run a rake across the outside of the wheel, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit later in the video. So run the rake across the buff, and this will soften the outer layers uh, back, and you're in business again. Yellow treated buffs are similar to the muslin buffs, but they are treated with a chemical that is designed to hold the compounds a little longer, but they are stiffer and harder than the muslin buffs. For the final polish or buffing stage, the materials that make up the buffs can be muslin, flannel, or chamois leather. I prefer to use the unstitched loose weave muslin buff. It is soft and it conforms to the shape of the piece that you're working on. Some of the specialty buffs are the thin edged or razor edged buffs. They're really great for getting into small areas. Also ring buffs. They're a felt buff that can get obviously on the insides of rings and you can also use them for getting on the insides of curved wires or curved pieces of metal really quite handy. Get yourself a couple of these. I like to use the goblet buffs. They're a tapered buff and you can use them on the insides of bracelets or any curved metal. I like to use the goblet ones because they are tapered and you don't have to uh, get the cylinder buffs in different sizes because you've got all the different sizes on this uh, tapered buff. So Goblet buffs are really a great buff to use. Also, hard felt wheels. These are much, much harder than the muslin buffs, and you can zoom in on some areas and polish certain scratches out without touching any other parts of your projects. They come in all different sizes. Be careful with these because they will make gouges into your metal very, very quickly. So use them sparingly and with caution. Compounds are the key ingredient for cutting down and removing scratches on the surface of metal and bringing out the high luster of the metal. There are two main ingredients in compounds. One, abrasive materials like silica, aluminum oxide, and other oxides. Two, a bonding agent or binder which holds all the ingredients together. Grease, fats, oils, and waxes are some of the bonding agents. It's neat because these bonding agents also act as a lubricant. Now the question is, 
what compounds are best for the two stages of polishing and buffing. There are many different compounds from different companies and can be very confusing. I'll give you suggestions from the different compounds that I have had experience with. For pre-polishing and the polishing stage, there are very aggressive cutting compounds like Tripoli compound, bobbing compound, and Luxy Black compound. For medium aggressive cutting compounds, white diamond compound, gray star compound, Zam compound, and Luxy Yellow compound are great choices. If you have a smaller polishing machine that runs at lower RPMs, the Luxie Green is a good compound for low RPM polishing machines or hand polishing. For the final polish and buffing stage, you will be using coloring compounds like one, all the colors of rouge, including red rouge. This is the old standard and has iron oxide in it. Luxie Red and Luxie Fine White. Some of these compounds are silica-free and use aluminum oxide abrasives. Also, they use vegetable-based fats as the binders and are more environmentally friendly. If that is something that interests you, you can check it out. A word of caution for you is that you should not mix the compounds and the buffs together. Each compound is specifically designed to do a certain job and when you cross-contaminate them, you will lose the special properties of the next stage compound. A good idea is to keep them in a Ziploc plastic bag and make sure that you use separate buffs for each compound. If you can't use separate buffs and you have to use the same buff for different compounds, Make sure that you clean the buff by using a rake. Here's how you use the rake. The rake is a wooden handle with four rows of steel teeth. Hold the lower rows of teeth on the front lower quarter of the buff. Push on the buff until it becomes smooth without grabbing the rake. As you can see, it is aggressive and very messy. There will be a lot of buff lint and many little strings sticking out of the buff. Those strings really must be removed so they don't catch on your pieces of metal when polishing. A safe way to remove the extra strings is with scissors. Some jewelers will burn the strings off, but this can lead to captured smoldering sparks that can reignite later. Use your scissors and be safe. Cut off all the strings until the buff is smooth. You are now ready to start polishing. I've only touched on a small amount of the compounds and buffs that are available. It doesn't have to be complicated. Many suppliers have a variety pack of compounds Find a compound that works for you and stick with it. Keep it simple. I hope you've enjoyed this video about buffs and compounds. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll get back to you. I appreciate your comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. I'm Greg Greenwood. I'll see you later.